for those that are just joining, this is your host, Tenneth Pula. Today, we're going to be doing a tutorial how to stream together. Streaming together is, um, it can be a complicated thing if it's your first time, but we're going to show you how to do it. Pretty fun, and it's a great way to engage with all of your viewers, all of your friends, all of your co-streamers. So, Burkarito and I, who is also lurking in the background somewhere, say hello. Hello, that is me. I am Burkaritis. Burkaritis. That's that's <laughs> him. So he's uh, he's going to be helping in this tutorial. This will be a joint tutorial. Uh, the first thing that you want to do, log into your Twitch creator dashboard. Go to twitch.com. Once you go to twitch.com, if you look at the very top right, you see your picture. And there's a handsome fellow up there. Yeah, that's me. Creator dashboard. Hang on, I need to take off this color block. As you can tell, this is, I haven't set everything up properly. I haven't done this in a while. That means it's real. It's not an AI bot. On the left hand side, there's a few things that you do need to do first. You can look in your stream manager. There's a panel that says collaboration. Underneath the collaboration tab, is where you can collaborate and stream with your friends. These are all the different people, including Burkarito Gaming. Go, go on ahead. So knocking and streaming together is pretty much the same thing. You go to favorites and then you add them this way. So you go to manage favorites, you click on who you want to add, and then you click done. Once you've done that, then you can go into stream together. That's one of the dudes is going live that I was supposed to be co-streaming with, man. Come on, bro. Ooh. So excited to do this with my friends. Be loyal to your streamers and your viewers. Twitch says update payment method. I am going to lose my subscription to Henneth Puller. Oh, oh no. no. Don't do not do that. You haven't subscribed to get all my latest emotes and stickers and fun stuff? Oh. Uh, streaming is better together. More chat, more viewers, and more ways to collaborate on Twitch. Just just a uh, just a thing for everybody. If if I'm assuming they can hear me in your recording, so oh, yeah, they they better. Do keep in mind that streaming together does not count towards your viewer count. Trying to gain followers and stuff, it doesn't count towards your continuous viewers. So keep that in mind. So if you're trying to get you know an affiliate, I thought that it was going to help me, but when I started reading it doesn't help you get hen's got you know 50 viewers one day and i've only got five it doesn't give me the extra 45 or whatever it is that i need because then i would be able to go to yeah playing ea sports fc 25 he has 36,000 viewers right now that's not going to help me in any way unless they click <laughs> on his channel because it will show the option to switch between your streamer or the streamer that you would like to focus on. You're gonna click on this icon up here. It says start streaming together. It's a little purple button. I do believe that you need um, Google Chrome. Uh, I know it works on Firefox. If you're on a Mac computer like me, Safari will not support it. Yes, I think there's a couple other ones. I use another uh, web browser called Opera, Opera GX. Opera. It doesn't work with the. Uh, yeah, I already tried to like to co-stream with someone who was using Opera GX, and it just wouldn't work. Yo, wait a minute! I, somebody jumped up in here. Who is this? I heard a new voice, and I looked. Up. <laughs> who is this? What's up, Stu? It's me. <laughs> no, I just called myself that because it's the character from Straftat. You're actually on a live tutorial now, so just heads up. All right. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah! Everybody's heard your voice already. It's, it's, it's too late. Yeah. yeah. So, so anything you can't Wait, say will be used right? against you. Okay. <laughs> while we finish the yeah. tutorial, just hang tight for a while. Like, put it on mute so that way I can finish because we're gonna start the stream around five. Okay. I, I updated the uh, Thank you so much. the voice chat message. It says tutorial in progress. <laughs> I love numbers. it. So, so going back to the tutorial, once you do click on start streaming together. It's going to open another window. Many Do you cool. see what I see? There it is. Okay, so you will see this window. It has a bunch of options that you can customize. So what I need to do first, first things first, we're gonna start with at the very bottom, there's different ways that you can arrange where your face will be once you do start <laughs> streaming together. You can uh, invite me to it whenever. So I'm going to send an invite to our buddy Burkarito and you do that right up here. 
on the top right where it says invite guests. When you click on invite guests, whoever, even if you're not live, you can still test this out. And that's the purpose of us doing this ahead of time. So these are all my buddies. You see 973 up there, you, you Ash Wooski, all the way down to Burkerito Gaming. Click on his name, send invite. So now it's going to send an invite to him. And if you're wondering, well, where do I accept the invite if you're on the other side? Burkerito will be able to show you on his side what it looks like. To give you a, a, an idea, it will be here under no, notifications. And it will tell you if someone has invited you to the ch to the channel. Sometimes if you're actually not on your like your Twitch dashboard, you're on the Twitch homepage and you see everybody else's. As long as you're logged in, it'll actually come up as a uh, ticker, like a little a little ticker pop out on the top right. Unfortunately, mine has not come through yet. I don't know oh, why. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Um, so if anything, if it doesn't go through, then what you can do is try to invite again in case it was not successful. So let's try again. Let's send invite. Let me refresh. Hold on. You did not get nothing. And this puller wants to collaborate. Click oh, to boy. 23 wow. minutes. Ago. Wow. <laughs> so uh, also, I, I do want to make a side note. If you are using, depending on what kind of camera that you're using for myself, I am using a, a um, an Osbot 4K Mini. Yes. Uh, I need to turn this AI tracking off. It keeps tracking me once again. Every every freaking time. Gesture control, turn off tracking. Thank God. I, I, well, I might turn it on later, but I don't need it now. In the camera section, there was a degraded quality for a moment ago. So now you, you have the option to, to choose virtual cam. If you go down to this section here, you see how it says Osbot virtual or tiny 4K. My camera allows me to simultaneously export my video to the stream and also the stream together and also to my stream labs i'm using stream labs for obs on mac so it gives you that option some cameras are different so don't this is my experience you may need to only use a virtual <laughs> cam if you're streaming together otherwise you will not be able to do this like my camera is an insta 360 link it doesn't have the capability of doing a virtual camera so that turns around and if i have a video up on OBS and it's say my live channel. And then I try to join the stream together and then share my video there. It won't work because it, my computer physically and the camera physically doesn't know how to separate the uh, images independently. Now you can be psycho and buy two cameras, but I don't recommend that because it's just a waste that. of money. But he might. I thought about it. And of course he did. <laughs> psycho. Is that a fruit fly on my wall? That's not good. There's no fruit in this room. Why are there fruit flies in, <laughs> on my wall? Oh boy! Allow yeah, yeah. 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 this, allow that. Allow the text all stream the cam. Mic miking. All, all right. right. Check the mic. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. There we, go. we can hear you twice. So should we switch over? So what you want to do is if you're speaking through Discord like we are, we want to turn off our Discord audio. So that way you're only hearing the stream together. Okay. Okay. Glad we kind of got into this part. If you want to have a backup for yourself, you know, create a, create two scenes, mm -hmm. you know, one for stream together and then one for discord. Be in a discord call, deafen yourself, mute the mic. And then that way, if you have an issue and something happens with stream together, you can shut it down and go straight to discord make sure all your audio and stuff set up so basically leave your input on can you still hear me bert yep awesome so this is playing right through stream together now so for those wondering what just happened we switched from discord over to stream together now the stream together option it allows you to basically send and receive audio input and sends output wow um, so this would be my co-host so he would be joining the stream and we'll be able to change the output on our stream and we can put us on the bottom we can put us on the left we can put us on the right there's a bunch of different scenes so if for example if we're playing clash royale I have two faces. Now, if you're multi-streaming, for example, if I stream on TikTok and Twitch at the same time, you have to do, you have to manage your dual outputs. So for example, on Twitch, mine is already perfectly set up. So if you're going to do something risky today, 
like what I'm doing and get a bunch of people that will randomly pop into your stream at any time, it might get kind of tricky and might get difficult. So you have to be ready to adjust it on the fly and you just communicate this with everyone. Yep. Um, so on Twitch, it's already kind of set up. I have it set to the panels, but I adjusted. See, I can move us anywhere on this on the screen. So if I want to move us over to the left side, I can move us to the left. I can arrange it based on your window settings and what looks best for your stream. Don't forget to turn off your main camera. So for example, for me, I have two cameras still running. I have my main camera. If no one is on my stream together, it's just running in the background. I don't need that camera now because I have stream together playing. So now you can see both of us on the um, on the stream. You can also take off your nameplates. If you don't want to show their name right here where it says customize, <coughs> click on customize and you can do your nameplate size. You can make it huge. Um, you can make it small. There's a bunch of different options that you can do anyway. I don't remember what I was going to say. I don't know if it was important or not. Might have been. Probably not. <laughs> Everything I say is usually not important. I just say things. <laughs> this whole video is not important. So. Not, a, not important. You're probably just going to skip right over this video, to be honest. If your computer is not the best, it's better to play it safe than sorry. So just choose automatically optimize my settings. Stream Together will automatically optimize your backstage experience and video quality when performance is impacted. You're dropping a hot spot to your computer. You're probably going to want to turn your settings way down, you know, to like 180 something like that, 180p. Now you can also choose moderators, you can choose audio output. Don't worry too much about these settings. You just wanna leave it how it already was set up. Your camera and what microphone that you're using. Those are the only two things you really wanna mess with, otherwise you're in danger of screwing things up. Browser source. So that's how our faces are on the screen at the same time. Um, the way to do that's, this- That's is, actually the recommended way by Stream Elements. Yes. Scratch Stream Elements. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So now in Streamlabs, if you're using Streamlabs for OBS, this will be what it looks like. It might look different if you're on OBS, but very similar. So what you want to do is under sources, you want to click on the plus sign and choose browser source, and you're going to add a new source instead. So when you click on add a new source, you can just type in stream together, for example. Set your window settings to wow. set your window settings to 1920 by 1080, just so it fits. We have to switch back to this window so you can see. At the very top, it says copy browser source. You see that? Um, you can also find it. Customize settings has it here. Um, set up my browser <coughs> sources. See, it gives you the option to set up your browser sources. It walks you through how to set it up. It kind, of, it kind of walks you through. So Stream Together will try its best to walk you through on how to do it. You don't have to take our word for it. But once you copy the browser source, then you're going to switch back over. So now in Streamlabs, when you copy and paste that browser source, then it looks like this. And ta-da, there you go. Your, your uh, Stream Together window is now active. So remember, you can adjust the settings however you want. You can move your faces all over the place but it's necessary to set up a browser source first. Otherwise your audio will push through, but no one will be able to see the other person. They'll just hear some ghosts floating in space. I'll do a screen recording on my side real quick and I'll show OBS since you did slobs. On the stream together, I'll just do it on this one because I'm already showing the screen. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the plus button, hit browser, you know, name it whatever you want. In this case, we'll call it stream together. Hit OK, and it's going to give you a little property set out for this. Then you're going to go into the same thing. What the dog doing? <laughs> so now that you can see, this is the pop out for uh, stream together. So you're going to go into your settings. The first thing that's going to pop up is the link. Copy that. Go back to OBS, and then you're going to paste this in the URL. Hit OK. And now we are on the screen. And like you said, you can adjust the size, all that good stuff. If you don't want him in there, you can cut him out just like that. Oh no! But that's how you do that. And it's recommended that you create a separate 
um, scene for the whole thing. You know, you can see a couple of things. I've got start stream, stream opener, game and screen record stream together. And then I'll have a couple of those. I'm actually redoing my OBS right now. That's why it doesn't look like <laughs> it did before. And like you said, you can make the adjustments however you want. Make it look like however you want. Whatever you want to do, you can do stuff through stream together and OBS to make it look the way you want it to. That is the Windows OBS side. Now, the, the goal is to collaborate together so you can get as many people as you can fit on a stream. And I just dropped my face off. So yeah, if someone turns it, you can turn your camera off at any time. If you do on mine, I always have to go and get a video preview. Otherwise, it will degrade the quality severely. So I have to make sure I stay on top of my video settings if I don't like the output that's happening. Yeah, so because right now, Hen is the actual controller of this stream together. So I can't do anything until he gives me permission. Cannot. Look at me. Sure. I'm the captain now. So I have moderation privileges. So basically, if you wish to share those with someone on the right hand side, you can see the participants that are active in the stream. Now, if you say I want Burkarito to also moderate, you can scroll down to where their name is. You can add new moderators. You, you can you can do all those different options. You turn on this little switch. So it gives the option Burkarito can now do mod options on the stream together setup. So then you click done and now he should have moderation privileges. You have to be a moderator of the streamers channel. Now, in order to do shared chat, <gasps> as you can see, it says shared chat is not available. The reason why is because you must be live in order to share chat. So once you once you actually hit the live go live button, then you will be able to. Nah. So that's pretty much in a nutshell how to stream together. Hopefully this video was helpful to someone if this gave you some insight into how to stream together and how to set it up. Um, leave a like, a follow, a subscribe, or you can not like, not follow, not subscribe. I don't really care. Go follow, go like and follow and subscribe that guy over there though. He's, he's definitely, that's Burkarito Gaming. You can, you can support him. Um, he wouldn't mind the company, <laughs> but. You can give me your money too, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. G give, <laughs> we'll both take your money happily. <laughs> we will happily take your funds. Thank you. This is your host. <laughs> we'll see you on the next stream. Hopefully, hopefully you'll be streaming together um, and uh, have fun. Don't forget to have fun. Most importantly, have a great time. Wow, that's a pull up play.